Hello again, this is Brad MS1981. Just doing another video update on my, um, I guess you, <laughs> what should I call this? My ant desk? I don't know. <laughs> I should say my ant colony set up. Still haven't received them yet. I should receive them um, probably either Tuesday or Wednesday uh, with my former carrium from Tar Heel Ants. Again, I'm getting the mini earth with a bunch of extras done to it. Let's see, so anyway, update. Basically what I did was, I still have the heating cable as you can see over there, but what was going on is I keep my apartment at 65 when I sleep. And basically the heating cable, when I tried to raise the temperature to about 68, 70 degrees, um, uh, it, it, just, it, it just wasn't getting warm enough. Um, you know, I mean, the heating cable, I mean, I could take the cables and put them close together, but I'd rather just rather not do that. So what I did was I ordered this um, Zubed Snake Strip, UTH. Uh, um, it wasn't the cheapest. I could have got in a, um, like, a heat pad slash mat meant for, like, uh, uh, I think it's called germification or seedlings and all that. The problem was with those, the wattage was a little low. This was, I believe, a little over 10 watts or 10 watts. The other ones were like 7.5, and I'm like, mm, I'd rather have more wattage um, to, you know, better control because I do have my uh, thermostat down below. It's the um, Inkbird one that has the uh, day and night cycle. Um, but... You know, this just gives me more options. I'm going to keep the heating cable, obviously. This, there's still use for it. Um, but basically what I'm going to do... Oh, and what I added also is I added a lamp fixture, which you can see there. That's pretty tight on there. I made sure that that's not going to move because obviously um, it's not a traditional bulb. Um, what I bought did come with these um, kind of really tiny inexpensive bulbs but I went with I didn't want the light on um at night because I'm in a studio um larger studio apartment so I went with an incandescent so anyway so because the idea is even though the species I'm getting now is a formica species and they don't really like need to be particularly warm or I don't think they prefer it but my next species I'm getting is definitely going to be like a pogo species, which is a harvester ant, and they like they like it really warm. Like typically, you want to keep them about 90 degrees in the for the day cycle. So I knew the heat mat, you know, because what I end up doing is I might use the lamp for the species that like a warmer temperature, and I might move the strip to that uh, bottom shelf, and then keep that for my like uh, species that prefer it cooler, you know. Um, the lamps I have in the corner here do actually produce a little bit of heat as well. And this corner actually stays warm. It's like the warmest area in my apartment because there's really no vents in this corner and my fans are kind of far away. So ideally this is the best spot. The only issue is because my door is right there, there is going to be, you know, noise on the outside, which kind of sucks for the Formica species I'm getting, but it's really... My hallway is really not that busy, so I'm really not overly concerned about it. But, but what I also want to talk about was this um, uh, uh, thermometer gun that I got. Um, well, the reason why I got this one, it <laughs> was far from the most expensive, and it was, but it wasn't the cheapest, but it was pretty, pretty expensive. But um, because it came with a thermocoupler. So what this does, I plug it in, and you can't see it because it's wrapped... Yeah, it's, oh, okay, here it is. I don't know if you can see it there, but see that little metal end to the wire right in front of my finger right there? Basically, you plug that in, and it does the ambient temperature of whatever's at the end of that wire. So the cool thing is what I'm going to do with the formicarium is, like, I'm going to put the formicarium here before I put the ants in, and I'm going to hook up my uh, thermometer to this uh, thermocoupler, and I'm going to stick that little cord in on the side. There should be a side tunnel, even with the glass and everything closed. And that's going to give me what the ambient temperature is inside 
to form a carrion. So this is, should be, if it works, a really, really cool tool to get the right uh, temperature. Um, this does have a humidity gauge, but it's ambient. So, I'm, uh, you know, I tried looking for something that I could use for humidity. Um, I don't think the thermocoupler measures humidity. I think it's just heat. It'd be really cool for measuring humidity, but I really don't think so. Pretty sure it's just the overall uh, thermometer gun for ambient, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna find out. We'll full around it. So I got my supplies over here. Got my cotton balls. Inside there's some Q-tips as well. Um, that's an extra bulb for uh, incandescent bulb. Got my frog tape there uh, for the heating cable and for you know keeping my uh, the probe in place for my. Uh, I always forget what it's called. The um, temperature control controller. There you go. And then down below, I got my distilled water and some old supplies I had bought from Ants Canada years ago. So, yeah, hopefully with all this and done. Oh, yeah, and up here I got some super worms, which now I'm being, I told, found out that apparently the species I'm getting or ants in general prefer uh, mealworms. So I'm going to replace those those are cheap There's only 12 in there they're like four bucks and then some fruit flies i'm gonna eventually do my own culture of fruit, fruit flies it's just really hot in arizona right now where i live so i really don't want to ship these type of things out at, at at this time i don't mind the ants because mac will ship with cold packs but i don't think if, if i order uh fruit fly cultures that that they'll be uh temper controlled but i then again, I could order the culture kits. So I'll have to decide. So, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. I'm going to do, an, obviously, do another update video once I get the formicarium and the ants. But I thought some of you might want to update or might find this interesting. So, right now, I'm testing out the um, temperature, making sure, basically, making sure that this gets to the glass can at least get to 90 degrees. That's the goal because that's kind of like the top temp I'm going to need for any of. Uh, ant colonies uh, if i'm wrong please feel free to leave a comment correct me you know give me your opinions Ant keeping is relatively still a fairly new hobby so you know everyone's got a lot of different ideas and how to do things but i'm always open to it and again this is bradman 1901 and uh hope you're all doing well take care